We're supposed to sketch a cubic function given these following properties. The first property is that f of minus 2 is equals to f of 1 is equals to 0. So if f of minus 2 is equals to 0, when x is equals to minus 2, we have our x-intercept. So let's go ahead and put that in our graph. So here at minus 2, and here at x is equals to 1, we have our intercepts. The next property is that f prime of 1 is equals to f prime of minus 1 is equals to 0. So at x is equals to 1 and x is equals to minus 1, the gradient is 0. Here at x is equals to 1, we have an intercept and turning point at the same time. Right. And then f of minus 1 is equals to 4. So we have a coordinate here. f of minus 1 is equals to 4. And then f of 0 is equals to 2. That is our y-intercept. So f of 0 is equals to 2. The gradient of our graph is less than 0 when x is between minus 1 and 1. Let's try connecting these points and see what we have. So here at x is equals to minus 1 and 4, we have a turning point. And then the same is true with x is equals to 1. We have a turning point right here. So we're going to have something that looks like this. Let's answer the following equation. 8.q. Determine the equation of f in the form y is equals to. Because we have the x-intercepts of our function, it will be easy to determine the equation. f of x is equals to a multiplied by x minus x1 multiplied by x minus x2 squared. So why do we have x minus x2 squared here? We square the intercepts that also serves as a turning point. So when we substitute here, we should have f of x being equals to a multiplied by x plus q multiplied by x minus 1 squared. This is what we need to solve. So f of x is equals to a multiplied by x plus 2. x minus 1 squared, that will give us x squared minus 2x plus 1. So f of x is equals to a multiplied by x to the power 3 minus 2x squared plus x plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 2. If we solve that, we're going to get f of x being equals to a multiplied by x to the power 3 minus 2x squared plus 2x squared. So that is 0. x minus 4x, that is minus 3x plus 2. This is our equation. We just need to find the value of a. How can we possibly do that? We can substitute a coordinate into this equation. We know that f of 0 is 2 from our properties. So we can say that 2 is equals to a multiplied by 0 to the power 3 minus 3 multiplied by 0 plus 2. So 2 is equals to a multiplied by 2. It will be easy to see that a is equals to 1. So if we substitute 1 back here, then we're going to get f of x being equals to x to the power 3 minus 3x plus 2. This is our equation. Let's move to the following equation. 8.3. If g of x is equals to f of x minus 3, write down the x-intercepts of g. Right, before we break down this equation, let's write down the x-intercepts of f of x first. We have minus 2 and 0. We also have 1 and 0. Now let's make sense of this transformation. g of x is equals to f of x minus 3. So x minus 3 shifts the graph of f of x 3 units to the right. If it was plus, then it would shift it to the left. It is counterintuitive, but it is what it is. So we just need to move these x values 3 units 
to the right to get the x intercepts of g of x so minus 2 plus 3 that is 1 and we have 0 as our y value and then 1 plus 3 that is 4 and we still have 0 as our y, our y value so this is the intercepts of g if you instead substitute x minus 3 in place of x in f of x you will probably get to the same answer but that will take the entire day so it is easier to do it like this let's look at 8.4 determine the values of p for which x to the power 3 minus 3x plus 2 is equals to p will have exactly one root exactly one root means exactly one x intercept so if we write this nicely we're gonna get x to the power 3 minus 3x plus 2 minus p is equals to 0 so minus p is shifting our graph up and down p is greater than 4 or p is less than 0 if you want to know how this comes about then click this video on your screen right now